Hi everybody, Kevin here. Uh, girlfriend Carrie up there recording for me. Uh, today we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, sorry I don't look the greatest, but I just got off work and got to get this done. So, wait, wait, here we go. Want to be really careful here. Don't want to cut what's inside. I'll look it back. I guess you could call this the revealing. So anyway, what I'm revealing today is I got a package from Pet Solutions. If anybody knows what Pet Solutions is, it's where you order your fish online. This is what the package looks like. This is my first time ever ordering from there. So we're going to get inside and see what it looks like. Don't want to get in too big of a hurry, don't want to tear anything up. So here's the invoice of what we got. Try to list them off as we go here. Wait, wait, you can look down in here. It's the way they came. Kind of cool. So anyway, we ordered some plants here. It's the way your plants come. Hair grass. Oh, Got two see. of those. Well, hopefully, you ain't allergic to the plants. We also got some melon sword, which you can see kind of, I think, are going to look really nice. I also have. Another plant, but I'm not sure what this one is. Might be mine. Uh, Cambomba green. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. Some of this stuff is going to a 50-gallon tank upstairs, so this won't all be for the little tank. Here we have another one. Remember, this stuff's all from Pet Solutions. I don't know if I can say that or not, but. Myra Red. Looks like they got it wadded up in a wet paper towel. Packaged up. So anyway, we're going to start revealing the fish.
First one we got here is the Blackmore. Doesn't look very black, but probably change over time. But anyway, as it gets you, you want to put these up in the tank. Let them set till they're about room temperature with the tank. And remember, when you take the fish out, never put their water in your water. Always drain the fish out into a net and get rid of the water, the bag and everything, and then let the fish go in the tank. That's really important. So anyway, we're gonna set this in the tank. Probably let them sit for 10 minutes or so. Our next bag here, oh, we got the puffer fish. This is the green puffer. Cute little guy. Hmm. Huh. But anyway, they blow up big. Let's put him in the tank. The next fish we got, oh yeah, there's another good one. This is mm -hmm. the Gold Dojo Loach. It's a tiny one here, but these are really good for the tank. They're really friendly. Uh, they like to clean the bottom, pick up, up during the night, clean up messes and stuff. Really pet friendly. Our next fish is oh the clown placosimus. That is really little. Let's mm -hmm. see if we can get it up here better. He's stuck in the corner there. You don't want to come out there. But anyway, different colored, really small. We're gonna put him in the tank. Next one here, oh, we got the uh, blue Grommy. That's pretty. Dwarf Grommy, yeah. Dwarf, it looks like the other one that we have. Yeah, blue. but it's a blue one, yeah. We already have a different colored one in the tank there. This would make a good teammate. Really pretty fish. All the fish that I got are good community fish. They all go together. Uh, here's some beauties here. These are probably the most fragile we got, and they're the angel fish. Carrie likes the angel fish a lot. But anyway, they're really they kind of keep to themselves in their own part of the tank. Anyway, we'll get them in there. So far, I'm really impressed with the shipping. Looks good, everything's in order, well marked. Here is a medium-sized angelfish. Mm. Kind of pretty. On top of it. it looks fairly good. He's probably ready to get out in the open and swim with his buddies. <clears throat> Another one we got here is another Placosimus. It's just a regular ordinary Placosimus. Of course you need those to clean the bottom of the tank. I like to have about three of them in a 30 gallon, small ones, but they'll get some size to them. Here's another couple of my favorites, the Pink Kissing Grommies. They're actually pretty good size already. Hopefully they don't get much bigger. Might have to move these to the 50 gallon if they do. But anyways, the best you order these in pairs. 
the pink ones anyway. Here's another really awesome one. I got this one kind of for Carrie, but it's a butterfly fish. Very fragile fish, likes to keep to itself. Uh, when they get bigger, they do like to eat topwater stuff like bugs. Um, it's probably better to get two of them, but I only got one to see how it's going to work. They're kind of a real fragile fish, but very, very pretty. Lots of detail. And of course, my last fish is another Placosmus. This is the marble cell fin. Uh, this has a, when it gets bigger, it have a unique design on it, different shape, kind of like a, uh, oh, kind of like a shark shape, maybe. But anyway, so anyway, I'm going to put this in, and this is my revealing, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you.